This one lie that's gonna wake you up. This one lie finna enlighten you. How you should use your money to create financial freedom. I need everybody to shout this video, baby. This one of them real lives right here, baby. This finna lighten you up. This finna enlighten you. This finna take you to that next level mentally, financially, emotionally, spiritually. This finna free you, man. I'm talking about some real stuff tonight, man. I need everybody on here that's anybody to share this video, baby. Cause see, y'all done got them unemployment checks, right? And them unemployment checks should have been used to invest, not to go buy mess. See, a lot of y'all went shopping with them unemployment checks. A lot of y'all went and bought stuff y'all ain't need with them unemployment checks. Y'all done went to the strip club with them unemployment checks. Y'all done with the Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior. Y'all done with the goddamn Versace with them unemployment checks. Now when the check run out, your money looking funny and you looking like a big dummy dressed in Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior and all that stuff that you bought from the store. I need you to understand that you should have invest that money. Now God got one more in there for you, Julian Bear. What's up with your baby? God got one more in there for you, baby. I need everybody to share this video. This one gonna be the one of them important videos that somebody on your channel, somebody on your platform need to see. I need you to share this video, baby. Cesare Brown, what's up with you, baby? I need everybody watching to share this video. If you rock with anything I'm saying, shoot me a donation, show me some love, like this. I need everybody to like this video. Liking is free. But if you really rocking with me, you can shoot a super chat through. It's all good either way. It's love. But let me tell you something, right? The government gave you unemployment money. And now they don't know they, Tiana, thank you so much. God bless you, baby. Listen, the government done figured it out that they done gave y'all too much money. The government done gave you some money to build a financial wall around your family and they mad. The government done figured out that y'all don't want to go to work no more. The government done figured out that everybody done quit on them so now they trying to make you go get a job so I'm finna give you something to think about about them unemployment checks that you had dog. You took that money and went shopping like a big dummy. Super Luigi on here, what's up with your baby? You took that money like a big dummy and bought Airbnbs. You took that money and went to the club and bought a table. You took that money and went and bought the new cable. Tyler Legit on here, what's up with your baby? You done took that money and gave it to Big Booty Bomb Quisha. And I got my receipt. She done told me what you done gave her. You done took that money and did some shit. I'm finna teach you something tonight, baby. How you could have got rid with that money and then I'm gonna teach you how to get rich. I need y'all to share this video. I need you to show some love to the channel. I need you to hit that like button. Barry B talks on here. What's up with your baby? It going down tonight, baby. The government done gave y'all money to create financial freedom. But you want to go to the Louis Vuitton store. You want to be the red bottom boss. You want to be at the table talking about this at my table at the club. You want to be at the table holding the bottle up. This my table. Then my table, ain't nobody. Security, get her ass out of here. She ain't pay for the table. You big dumb. You big dumb. I'm finna go in tonight. What you should have did with that unemployment money, with that PPPP loan and all that stuff you got, was create something, build something that creates financial freedom. The government done gave y'all over $10,000 in unemployment fees and funds. If you would have took one of them thousands, one of them thousands, you ain't got to take all 10, just one of them thousands, right? A new pretty, thank you so much. So look, if you would have took one of them thousands and invested one of them thousands to, to, to Red James, if you would have bust one of them thousands, that the government gave you and put it in the right stocks. If you were to put it in the right stocks, just one of them thousand, if you were to put it on Dogecoin, 
If you'd have put it on Doja Corn when it first came out, not when it got hot, when it first came out, you'd have put up $1,000 on Doja Corn. Do you know if you'd have let that money sit for about six to eight months straight, you would have turned that $1,000 to $100,000. All you had to do was let it sit and accumulate. I'm going to tell you how stupid it is, right? Y'all out here paying for lifestyles y'all can't afford. Y'all out here going to the club, buying tables and buying bottles. Y'all out here buying Sprinter vans. Y'all out here in the strip club throwing bands. If you could sit in the line and wait to go in the club, Marquis Jenkins. If you could sit in the line and wait to go buy a bottle smoke, man, Joe. You could sit some money in the stock market and see if it going to turn over for you and get your money back to nobody's style, baby. If you could sit in the line and wait to get in the club, you could sit in the line at the stock market on Robin Hood and see if you're going to be good because you could have took 1000 and turned it 100000 baby. Or just imagine, right, if you would have invested half of them 10 bands that the government gave your ass into your dream. Let's say you would have took half them 10 bands. You would have put five bands into your dream. By now, you will be getting the ROI. And that's a return on your investment. Right now, it, when the government first came out them checks, about a year and a half ago, almost got there. Two years we've been on lockdown. They just opening up. If you would have invested 5000 into your dream, into your business, or put five and five, because you can always can patch up with your homies and get a sprinter van. You always can patch up with your homeboy and get a table at the club, but y'all can't patch up and get no business. Or y'all can patch up and go to the Louis Vuitton store to buy one shirt that all y'all gonna share for the whole week. So y'all can't patch up to get no business. Y'all can patch up to buy kids Chuck E. Cheese party, but you can't patch up to buy stocks and Chuck E. Cheese. That what you mean to tell me? That, that, that what you telling me? By now, if you would have invested your money, man, you would have begin to ROI right goddamn now. A return on investment. And see, I want to talk about that word. Cultivate. King by the bad. What's up with you, King by the bad? Thank you so much. God bless you. Listen, I want to talk about that word cultivate. Cultivate is to build something up on already something that's standing. That's the ghetto terminology for all you goddamn college graduates and degree graduate. I don't want to hear about the real definition. I made the definition for cultivate is to build up on something that's already standing to build up on the foundation this is the ghetto terminology for the word cultivate so what i mean is the government gave you 10 bands the government gave you 50 bands and 100 bands because everybody's gonna be locked up for the summer ain't gonna be no hot girl summer all y'all that did them ppp scams and all that they coming to see your ass about they bag because that's the government money they don't let nobody get this p p p p p Prison problems and got them uh, uh, penitentiary. Penitentiary problems and got them prison. That's what you finna get messing with the government money because you thought that was free money. That was a goddamn trap. Boy. They wanted to see why you ain't been paying taxes. So everybody that filed for that stuff and put all them, them, them things down there, oh, they coming to see about you. So you better have some books on your commissary because they ain't going to let you know when they coming. The feds never let you know when they finna come. They never announce their next move. They never know. You never know when they coming, Don Smoke. You never know, hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about right now. Hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about, Mike Bills. Hit that like button if you know what I'm talking about. The feds do not let you know when they coming. So why you letting everybody know your next move? You let everybody know you file for the PPP. So when your, when they knock on your, your, your neighbor door looking for you because they had the wrong door, your neighbor gonna say, uh-uh, I ain't did it. Next door did it. He told me he filed for the PPP. What you doing? So what you should have did, is cultivate so when they came you could prove that you flipped their money you could pay them back their money so it could be less on you you done took a million dollars of these goddamn government funds knowing goddamn well last week you were getting food stamps what you doing boy boy you all the way messed up boy they finna come see about your boy bomb quiz you better put something on your book boy all that money you done blowing bomb quiz at the script club she better put something on your goddamn book boy Come tell you right now, they coming to see about you about that PPP. Prison, penitentiary, and problem. That's what PPP stand for. 
And I don't want none of that money, period. I put a P, 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 P on it. I don't want none of no problem, period. P, 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 five P's on the goddamn thing. Shut that butt. Shut this video, baby. But they coming to see about you. Oh, listen, y'all think everybody gonna be out here for the summer talking about that Miami and all that? Child, please, if I fly you down right now and the government come get your ass, I'd be the law of my money. Jane Joy, thank you so much for that super chat. God bless you for that. Prison problem, penitentiary. And I don't want none of that money, period. It's 4P, goddamn. I'm telling you right goddamn now, stay away from that PPP. That is a trap to figure out all the miscellaneous businesses that's been out here. What's the problem with bowling for six months and going to jail for 16, 20 years, dog? It ain't worth it. You might well just stay away from that money. You ain't had no money in the first place. Stay away from that money. Going to sign up for that money, dog, that's a trap. And you know you sticking your, your own gun in your mouth. You know that. Because when you sign up for that, where you know the government to give you something for free? Let me tell you how the government works. The government system is worked to make me in pain. So if your baby mama put you on child support, she could get free food. She could get free housing. She could get free assistance. But if she getting money from you, she can't get that. It's, the, it's built to divide the families. This system is built to divide and conquer. Because if they keep the man out the house, they keep the wisdom out the house. So they're going to make you pay. And she's so damn dumb not knowing that she could get more money out of you if she ain't got them put you on child support. But she's so damn dumb that she's jumping on that little bit of money. Understand what I'm saying, baby? So the government don't give out free money. So if she getting them goddamn child support, if she getting alimony, if she get, it's built to divide the man and the woman, dog. She can't remarry. Unless she, she can't get no more money if she remarried. She can't get no more money if she puts you on child support or put you uh, or y'all get back together and she say you back in the house. She can't get no more funds. So the these people, the gov is built to divide the man out the house. It's not built to keep the man in the house. They don't want none of that. They don't want your father next to your mama, dog, because that's cutting into their paper. They don't want that. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I ain't going into that conversation because whatever y'all put y'all baby daddy on. If he a deadbeat, make his ass pay. You understand me? If he don't want to be in the kid's life and he don't want to support you, make his ass pay. But as much as you can, stay off that goddamn system, dog. Because that system is a system. It's called a system for a reason. Because they put some in to get some back out. And you ain't walking away with, with the things you could have walked away if you would have kept the people about your goddamn business, baby. If y'all divorced, do it like Bill and Melinda Gates. If y'all divorced, do it like Jeff Bezos and his wife. Don't you be out here trying to goddamn get them people in your business because they finna take you down through there, baby. So let me tell you something. If you would've put them 10 bands behind your dream right now, you would've been sitting on top of the world because you would've got an ROI. And that's a return on investment. ROI, return on investment. You would've been getting money back. And I'm gonna tell you something. What you gotta learn is this word called cultivate. This word called cultivate is to build up on something, to build up on the foundation. Meaning, you come with the land and God gonna build a house on it. Meaning, you come with the business idea and God gonna bring the resources that you need to bring this business to life. Meaning, you come with the goddamn dream and God gonna send you the help to bring this dream to life. Cultivate, build up on something. A lot of y'all choose the wrong man. That nigga ain't working on nothing. Then when you get with this nigga, you can't cultivate with this nigga because the fact of the matter, he trying to build up on you. A lot of y'all get with the wrong woman. She already a gold digger and she already looking for a goddamn rich nigga and here come your broke ass and now you trying to think you want to build up with her. She ain't got wife qualities and you trying to build up and cultivate with somebody that can't be cultivating. King B, what's up with you? Share that goddamn video, King B. Hit that like button right now, King B. Shout out to love. LaVonda Rainey on here. I appreciate you too much, LaVonda. Shout out to LaVonda Rainey, my top super chat of the night. It's going down tonight. It's going down tonight. We got to cultivate. Cultivate means you bring the land and God going to put a house on it. Cultivate me. You bring the business idea and God gonna bring the resources to bring your business idea to fruition. Cultivate me. You bring that dream and God gonna bring the people around you that's gonna come with hammers and nails to build this dream that you got in your mind, baby. That's what cultivate me. 
We gotta build up on the foundation, but you gotta come with a foundation. We gotta cultivate. See, I'ma teach you something. Let's talk about college. Everybody be talking about, oh, I got a college education. Man, I don't care nothing about your college education. I don't care about your certificates on your wall. I don't care about your degrees. That's just a piece of paper. There's a lot of people that got pieces of paper on their wall that say bachelor's degrees right now that ain't got no goddamn job and they trying to find a job. But let me tell you something about that word college. College is an education that teaches you how to labor for an employer. College teach you how to work for somebody. College teach you how to labor for an employer. You can never in your life get rich for working some, for somebody. You can only get by by working for somebody. So if you're trying to get ahead instead of get by, see college going to get you by. But if you're trying to get ahead and live this good life, Jen, when the 12 and LeBron Durant and King B and all y'all on here, Marquis Jenkins. If you're trying to get ahead, John T. Scott, get you a goddamn trade, dog. Take your ass to trade school. Go to the military and get your goddamn shit together. Well, when you retire, they got your stuff together. Marlon, I'll feel on here. What's up with you, Marlon? Get you a trade. Go to trade school. Because job stands for just over broke. Job stands up just over broke, goddamn. Get you a goddamn trade, baby. Shout to Ariel Anderson on here. What's up, Eric Ariel? Let me tell you something. You can't get rich from working for somebody. Job stands for just over broke. You can only get by from working for somebody. You, if you're trying to get ahead, you got to get a trade, baby. And a trade. 323, what's up with you? See, my dog 32T here, entrepreneur, and I'm gonna get into that word entrepreneur. King B here, entrepreneur. Some of these people are entrepreneurs on here. See, I'm gonna teach you something about trade. See, a trade is the action of buying and selling goods and services. So if you go to trade school, they teach you how to be an entrepreneur. Some people like me ain't have to go to trade school and I know how to be an entrepreneur because that's how I'm blessed and born. This stuff come from my mom and my daddy. It was inherited me and better in my blood. I get it. I ain't have to go to school. So I could teach a class, which I do teach a class called entrepreneurship. And I'm going to bring it to YouTube and I'm going to bring it to some of my, my platforms so you can get in touch with me. But I'm going to tell you something. If you really trying to get ahead and you really ain't a salesperson because the number one job in the world is sales. The number one job in the world is sales. If you every department in the world from cars to houses to, to anything to food needs salespeople. That's the number one job in the world out of 200,000 occupations, Tiana. Licensed cosmetologist, see? She a licensed cosmetologist. Man, listen, man, we ain't got nothing on here but entrepreneurs. And if you go to work, I'm gonna teach you how to quit your goddamn job, baby. I need everybody to share this video. I'm going in tonight. I'm telling you right goddamn now, I'm gonna go in tonight. T Terrence Taylor, uh, my dog Terrence Taylor, with antisickness.com, he an entrepreneur. He on here somewhere in the midst. I see you. See, I'm gonna tell you something. Working a job means just over broke. You only gonna get by. If you're trying to get ahead, get a trade. See, working on a job gonna get you to get taxes and receive taxes because you making uh, below the, 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 the boss income. That's what you making. But when you start to make over the, uh, you see, because your boss ain't gonna never pay you enough to be his goddamn neighbor. So when you start getting to some real money, Provo plan, when you start getting to some real money, then guess what? You start paying taxes. Cause a lot of us fight to make the payday. You start making a pay, goddamn payroll, goddamn three, two, three. Officially trademark, look at that. Man, come on, man, we finna go in tonight. We finna go in tonight. See, I'ma teach you something, right? Trade is another word for entrepreneur. Entrepreneur means operating businesses that a person took he or she took the greater financial risk than normal people would just to do so. An entrepreneur is a person that took the greater financial risk than a normal person would just to do so. 
So instead of working at Walmart, he tried to find a way to buy a Walmart. Instead of working at McDonald's, he looking at research trying to find out how to buy a McDonald's. He taking a greater financial risk in order to become a, a, a goddamn business owner. Another word for entrepreneur. So trade me entrepreneur, then entrepreneur is another word for business owner. So I'm gonna tell you something, all you street niggas that's following me, I wanna let you know something, dog, cause a lot of you niggas think, cause you sell dope, you a goddamn entrepreneur. A nigga called me the other day, man. I'm a goddamn, I sell drugs, man, I got money. Man, I said, let me tell you something, selling drugs don't make you no goddamn hustler, fool. Chad Ford, what's up with you? The job. I'm at, it's the stepping stone till I move, but hey man, listen Chaz, I know what you went through. That ain't your final destination, that's just your current situation. Just keep on grinding, you're gonna be all right. But as I was saying, right, it was a dude hit me. And he said, he a goddamn hustler. I said, what you do, what you hustle? You sell cars, you cut hair, you plumbing, you doing electricity. He said, no, nah, I sell dope. I say selling drugs don't make you no hustler, fool. James Michael, selling drugs don't make you no hustler, fool. A hustler is someone that sells goods and services that require maximum effort. Selling things people might want, but they don't need make you a hustler. Selling things people want, but not need, it make you a hustler. I say want, because want is a desire. What you need, that you, that's required. That make you a hustler. Selling drugs don't make you no hustler because drugs sell they goddamn self. Anybody could sell drugs. Dave Rand, what's up with you, baby? Drugs sell they self. All you gotta do is post up on the block. All it takes is common sense to sell some goddamn dope tea on them. All it takes is some common sense. All you got to do is cook it, cut it, bag it, and stand in front of the goddamn local corner store where the base will be at. And goddamn every five minutes they're going to come up to you and you're going to goddamn get you some money. That don't make you no hustler. That make you a fool because you're killing your own people, stupid. You selling drugs to black people, dog, and you're killing your own people. Now, I ain't saying you evil because you selling drugs because we all come from a dirty background. But what I'm telling you is that don't make you no hustler, dog, because it ain't no age requirement to sell drugs. Hell, I was 12 years old out there on the corner. You ain't got to show no ID to sell no drugs. They ain't going to ask you for no ID. You just got to stand out there. Ain't no age requirement. Ain't no background check. They ain't gonna do no street check on you just to find out if you snitched on anybody. All they need to know if you gonna stand on that corner with that goddamn bomb and hold it till it's gone. That's all they need to know if you a street nigga, if you a hustler. You ain't gotta be big, you ain't gotta be strong, you ain't gotta be tall, you can be fat, black, ugly, and all that, and you can sell you some dope. That don't make you no goddamn gangster. Cause that ain't no requirements. That's just goddamn street shit. Everybody, require, everybody can, can, can apply for streets and get accepted the same day. Cause ain't no background check, ain't no I'ma call you back, ain't no interviews. Look, this is what we doing, this is what you need to do. And that's why so many niggas get snitched on. And that's why so many niggas get switched on. Cause you know why? Y'all are high end niggas that don't even qualify for the streets, fool. When I come from the era I come from, dawg, you had to be on that. You had to have a name before Instagram. The nigga had to say your name and then move mountains for you to work for another nigga that way out here on that shit there, dog. Cause this shit here that y'all on by, oh, this is my Instagram and this and that. Man, I come from a real era where we be before Instagram where you walk dickies and kangos, nigga. I'm talking about the flip phone before Metro came out. Yeah, I'm talking about the the, the chirps, the blackberry with the dick, 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 dick. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about with the beeper. What you know about the beeper? Meet me at the payphone. I'm talking about that, man. I come from all that. So that don't make you no gangster, bro. But you had to come from where I came from in order to get that shit here handed to you. Because a nigga wouldn't put no bomb in your hand, dog. A nigga wouldn't put no bomb in your hand if you weren't on that shit there like that. There, there, there. You come around with all that flashy shit, nigga ain't want you around. You come around with the big Cuban link on and the Rolex on. Nigga ain't want you touching his bomb because you too hot. You on fire. But in this era here, these niggas taking pictures. The last thing we wanted to do when we were street niggas would take goddamn pictures. 
Y'all niggas take pictures of the dope, taking pictures of the gun, taking pictures of the money. Y'all are building y'all own case. The feds ain't got to do nothing but watch goddamn the NBA playoffs and come pick your ass up when the game go off. Because you're telling on yourself, fool. Nigga come from a real era when it went, it, it went about that. It was on some real street shit. And see, I'm going to tell you something, right? To be a real entrepreneur, it take courage. It take courage to be an entrepreneur. Because one thing you got to understand when you out here in these street seals, it ain't no guarantees. It ain't no warranty. The insurance is you got a dream. And the goddamn deadline is I got to make it. And your why going to be your kids or your family. You got a sick grandma in there you got to take care of. Your mama depending on you. That's your why when you trying to be an entrepreneur. It ain't no guarantees in this stuff here, man. It's your will, but you got to find a way. And that's why I take more than you. You got to believe in God and you got to have a strong team. But everybody you start with ain't going to be the people you finish with because everybody can't go. And every time you start, you might fail. But guess what? You got to fail your way to success because it's times you got to learn through them failures, dog. Y'all hit that like button if y'all fail in, in, in anything in life that you try to do. If you ever fail, I need you to hit that like button right now. If you keep failing, I need you to hit that like button. I'm going to teach y'all to get out of that. Hit that like button right now if you ever felt that anything in life and you trying to figure out why am I feeling? Why am I going through things and I'm trying to sell it? I'm trying to get better, but guess what? I can't seem to find the cheddar. I can't seem to find a way. Can't nobody, ain't nobody coming trying to help me cooking nut. Ain't nobody trying to help me. Don't nobody, everybody watching me, but they don't want to help me. And I got this dream inside of me and it's trying to creep up out me, but they keep on passing me by. If you ever been through that, I need you to hit that like button right now. I'm finna go in for you right now. See, I'm gonna tell you something. Don't rush something that ain't ready yet. See, when you put something in the microwave, it's only a proportion you can put in there, which means you can only feed yourself. So a microwave we considered as a jar. To be an entrepreneur, you cooking out the oven. And you can't rush something that ain't ready yet, though. See, that's your problem. That's why you keep failing. You right here talking about, man, I've been trying this stuff for years. Man, it could take five years to get to that one year that changed your life for the rest of your life. Though. It come over time, not overnight. You right here worrying about, man, I've been investing all my money. I've been putting checks in this. Man, do you understand that you working hard, but you ain't working smart? Sometimes you might just need to meet somebody. It ain't about how long you knew a person. It's about who you, it ain't about who you know. It's about who want to see you blow. There's some people out here that you know that don't want to do shit for you no more. There's some people out here that you ain't met yet, and in the first two days, they ready to put a bag behind your ass, dog, because they see the potential. But it's some people that you knew for two decades, and they got the money and got the resources, but they don't want to put nothing behind you because they too jealous of you. I need y'all to share this video right now. I'm going in. I ain't going in and everybody hit that like button. I need everybody to hit that like button, baby. You got to have courage. You got to understand that you can't rush something that ain't ready yet. Feed your family out that oven. Put that stuff in the oven and let it cook, let it bake. Fuck them snakes. Fuck all them fake friends. Fuck all them people that switch on you. You gonna get people that switch on you, but what you got to do is understand that God revealing stuff while you becoming an entrepreneur because you don't want to get to the top of where you going and then you find out people are too late. You Now you got the cake, now you got the money and now you need these people because you don't put them in positions. And now they done pull out the snake stuff at the last minute. Now your dog turned into a snake. Now you believe in magic when God been trying to reveal the magic before you got the bad fool. I need you to share this video right goddamn now. I ain't going in. I need everybody to hit this like button right now. I ain't going in until you hit that like button. I'm telling you right goddamn now. I'm finna go in. I feel good tonight, baby. Because I never believed in magic till I seen my dog turn into a snake. Because he switched on me, turned on me for no reason. But then guess what? Sometimes them L's that I took be to become a W. Because you put an L next to another L and it'll create a W. So if you keep taking L's and you line them up, they become W's, baby. L's come before M's. Losses come before millions. You're going to have to lose some people along the way. Everybody can't go. Your dream is your dream. 
What you eat don't make the next motherfucker shit. That's your shit. When a woman sit on you, that's your mushroom tip. That ain't his. Why you think he gonna be happy for you? When you get married, all these people standing up at your marriage clapping for you, everybody clapping for you, ain't happy for you, baby. This ain't for them, this for you. You got to be happy for you, baby. Jane, Michael, thank you so much for that super chat. God bless you for that. Let me tell you something. In this game we in, ain't no guarantees, Marcel Frederick. Ain't no guarantees, baby. You got to you gotta eat what you kill, but you got to hunt. And that's why you got to surround yourself around people that's on the same mission. So when you go to hunting, they hunting with you. Y'all moving like lions out here. They ain't waiting on you to bring back the deal. They going out there to find the deal. And you in the kitchen waiting on it so you can cook it. Everybody playing their position. Get around people that bring something to the table instead of trying to sit around your house and watch your cable. If you don't hunt, you don't eat. If you don't work, you don't eat. But there's some people that's around you right now, man. All they do is sit around you and wait on you to come back with your paycheck so they can beg you. There's some people sit around you, they wait on you to come with the blunt so they can hit your blunt. There's some people around you waiting to come around with the fifth of hen, EJ Jones. There's some people around on you, they wait on you to come with a bottle of Hennessy so they can ask you for a cup, baby. But what you got to understand is if you don't hunt, you don't eat. Cut them leeches off. Get them squares up out your circle, baby. Because you're trying to be an entrepreneur, baby. So I'm going to tell you something. Most people lack. Most people scared. Most people feel that kind of pressure. 415 mil, thank you so much for that super chat. God bless you for that. So many, so many people feel that kind of pressure. Because they lack the mental capacity and the mental strength and the ambition and the discipline that it's going to take to get to their final destination. So they get stuck in their current situation, but they don't understand the forming process. They don't understand that underground 2323. Thank you so much, 323323, my top super chatter of the night. $200 super chat. God bless you for that. Let me tell you something. Some people don't understand that underground is the formation process. Underground is the formation process. When I talked to 323 and I told him, we had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. He said, Nino, I want to drop my clothing line. I say, boy, you better come on with it and you better send me something. And when he sent me some, I started doing videos to do shirt. And I charged top dollar to wear other people's stuff on my body. Because I'm a walking billboard and you got to pay me in order to, for me to wear your stuff. But I did that and he didn't even ask me to do that. And I did that because I want to inspire until I expire. So I want you to go higher, boy. I want you to win in this game, boy. I want you to hit me one day and you big as Kanye. And you say, Nino, boy, I done hit for 10 billion, boy. Hey, go you something, boy. I just want some clothes, bro. I don't want no money from you. I want to see you win. I want to see everybody on my channel win. That's what this shit about, man. We got to pass the torch. I'm a leader. I'm an achiever. I want to see everybody win. A lot of people out here, man, they don't want to see you win, John. They don't want to see you win. I want to see everybody come up. I want to see everybody get their blessings. This is the year of your prosperity. This is the year your new house finna come. This is the year your business finna blow up, Yolanda Wilson. This is the year that your family gonna come together and act like a family. This is the new year that you finna get a new ambition and a new drive. This is the new year that you finna get a new car. This is the year that you gonna get married, get prosperity. Your kids finna do good. If you believe what I just said, 11 11 goddamn hit that like button right now if you believe this is your gear this is your season get ready because boy god finna bless you so big i'm talking about right now in front of all in the hater face hit that like button if you believe god finna bless you all in the hater face right now hit that like button if you believe god finna take you to new levels and new heights three two three if you believe that hit that like button for me dog Chance for us, if you believe that, hit that like button. Prince family, if you believe that, hit that like button. Let me know, goddamn it. You believe that God finna send you a blessing. Something you've been asking him for. Something you've been praying for. Something you've been waiting for. God finna send you that. All you got to do is get an entrepreneur mindset. You got to wake up every day and find a way. 
You got to wake up every day and find a way. See, what you got to understand is with a job, you ain't got no risk. All you got to do is punch a clock and do your assignment to get a job. See, school prepares you for employment. But trade school prepares you for deployment. There's a difference between employment and deployment. Trade school deploy you. You can't have a boss. You the boss. You the leader. You the foundation. But school teach you how to be employed. That's why they teach you basic stuff in the free school. But you got to pay to get a degree to make above average for the working class. They can't afford this stuff. Well, let me tell you something. They got a mean system out here. The oppressor got a mean system for you, boy. They ain't got no love and they don't owe you nothing. There's some sharks out here that don't want to see you eat. There's some sharks out here, boy. If they had it your way, boy, they gonna keep you in debt, boy. There's some sharks out here, boy. If they if they had it their way, you gonna slave even in your death. Your kids ain't gonna get nothing. They finna get all your money. There's some sharks out here, boy, that chew your ass up and spit you out for the rest of the sharks to eat the rest of you. Boy, some sharks out here that wear them suits. There's some sharks out here in the in in, in, the, in the big ass buildings right there that want something on your ass, boy. I'm telling you right now. Boy, they shooting. They shooting around this joint. That's all right. I got my stick with me, baby. I'm, I'm covered in the blood of Jesus, boy. This time, I'm going to burn your ass right up on me this time. Boy, I ain't even playing. God got me. That, I ain't even want to talk like that. God got me. I don't know who shoot Aaron B. Somebody just heard like five shots, boy. You know in the world we in, we got to be straight. But I like to do outdoor videos. I like to be outside when I do my video. I keep me a stick and I, sh I, I practice. I don't even want to talk like that. We ain't going to put that energy out there. Let's go back to the shit. School prepares you for employment. Trade school prepares you for deployment. See, in school, right, they teach you a lesson. You learn the lesson and you are tested on the lesson that you taught. I'm going to say that again for you. In school, they teach you a lesson, and you are tested on the lesson that you taught. But in life, you get the test first, and then you are tested first, right? And then you learn the lesson from the test. Let me, 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 let me. In school, they give you the lesson, and they test you on what they taught you in life they test you first and you learn the lesson based on what you've been taught 11 11 baby skinny little crump what's up with your boy shout antonio jones thank you so much for that super chat god bless you for donating to my channel god bless you for that let me tell you something What you gotta understand is, when you trying to be an entrepreneur, you gonna have to bump your heads. When you trying to be an entrepreneur, you gonna lose people because they ain't gonna believe in you. They gonna feel like it's gonna take too long. But when you working for C, I'm gonna tell you something, man, your mama might not be an entrepreneur and she might talk you out of it. Your daddy might not be an entrepreneur and he might talk you out of it because all he knew and he seen his kids do it, his mama do it, his daddy do it, go to, it go to work. So you might be the first millionaire in your family, dog, but you're going to have to go against family, dog. David Murphy, thank you so much for donating to my channel. God bless you for that. Thank y'all so much for them offerings y'all sending in, man. That's like, this is like church, man. This is like church, so you got to show, show love, man. Michelle Green, thank you so much. Y'all know they take a percentage of this, but it's all good. It's all love. All this stuff is how we keep the message strong, so I appreciate all donations. But I'm going to say this. Your mama might not be an entrepreneur because she worked as a bus attendant. Your daddy might not be an entrepreneur because he threw papers and he worked as a piece of man. Uh, he worked at, at, at whatever job he did, he did manual labor. But here you is, you got a dream to be the first millionaire in your family. And they talking you out of it because they don't see what you see. They don't see the potential in you. 
But I'm gonna tell you something right now. You gotta go past what they telling you because they gonna talk you out of it. Your mama might try to kick you out of her house for trying to be successful. My mama did it to me. Get your ass out my house, go get a job. And you gonna have to prove your mama wrong. And you might come back. See, I ain't, I wasn't blessed enough because my mama's successful. But you might come back and hire your own family, dog. The same people that look down on you, Alvin Moore, I Iris Moore, the same people that look down on you gonna come ask you if you hire you. But the first thing they gonna do is tell you you crazy. The first thing they gonna do is tell you to quit that job. The first thing they gonna do is tell you you stupid. Ain't nobody in our family ever did that. What you doing? But ain't nobody in my family ever went to the White House. I'm the first one in my family. Ain't nobody ever in my family been a leader. I'm the first leader in my family. I ain't nobody in my family ever been successful. I'm the first successful person in my family. I'm here to tell you when you put your mind to something, you could do what it is you put your mind to. Don't let them talk you out of it. Bees coming. Bees coming, don't let them talk you out of a dog. So what I developed was, is a list of businesses that will always be needed in the marketplace. And these businesses that I'm gonna present to you is businesses, cause a lot of people that I mentor ask me, Nino, how can I become a millionaire? How can I become a successful? These are the businesses that you need to look into instead of selling drugs. These are the businesses that you need to put that money that you get not discreet into. Let me show you what you need to do. Number one on my list is being a carpenter. Carpentry. Become a carpenter. Do you know a carpenter is a person that cut, build, and install wood supplies in homes and commercial businesses? Carpenters get major contracts from goddamn construction companies. Become a carpenter. You could become a six-figure nigga just from being a carpenter, dog. Cutting wood, supplying the wood, and laying the wood, and taking down the wood. Trees go every day. Become a carpenter. You could make six figures a year doing carpentry work. Become an electrician. Become an electrician, electrical work, install, repair electrical problems. Fix electrical problems. Do you know that everybody in the world, even me, look, I'm outside right now and there's a number of lights on. If you are an electrician right now, no matter if you are electrical tech for a car, or for a house or any kind of businesses, you will always have work to the day you die. Become an electrician. That's a six figure business. Do you know, do you understand that? Doing storms and natural disasters, companies pay electricians six figures to fix electrical problems. For about two or three weeks, you out there working, but you made six figures for two to three weeks worth of work. You might don't sleep for them two to three weeks, but when you come home, you're gonna be straight for the rest of the year. Become an electrician. Plumbing. Let's talk about plumbing. Fixing drain. Shut your ass up. You see me online doing all that shit. Being a plumber, fixing electrical drains, fixing sewage systems. All these businesses need sewage work that go down the goddamn pipe all the way from the top of the building to the bottom of the building. If you fix sewage system and you become a plumber, installing bathrooms in a new house that ain't even been walked in yet, you can make thousands of dollars becoming a plumber. Become a plumber, become a painter. Just painting buildings, man. That's easy as hell to paint. And you can find five of your niggas if y'all can film fights and got them fight each other. Why you can't plum, paint, plumb, and be electrical? Why you can't do that? Y'all niggas could film fight, shoot guns, and, and, and hate on everybody, but you can't get out here and get a job. You ain't somebody no money in the street. It's money in the street, but you don't want no money. You don't want no goddamn money. Become a farmer. Get into the farming industry. 
Do you know that if you buy some land and grow some crops on that land, that's a billion dollar business for the rest of your life and you ain't gonna pay taxes on the land, fool. Buy you some land and, earn, and grow some goddamn crops. Major supermarket distributors, man, they gonna come holler at you and they gonna spend billions of dollars to get with you to get them crops. Especially down here in Florida where we don't get no winter. Buy you some land. Grow some crops. Become an exterminator. Become an exterminator. Put tents on homes, man. Put tents on businesses, man. Put tents on schools, man. Getting rid of them insects. Getting rid of them rodents, man. That's a billion trillion dollar business. And it don't take no real. Go to goddamn Home Depot. Get you some rain. And you're an exterminator. Just like that. I spray roaches every day. Y'all done seen me on live when I'm fighting with mosquitoes. Get you a can of Ray and get you some goddamn roast motel boxes and set them up and you an exterminator. And everybody gonna hide your ass because they got roaches. Everybody got roaches on here. I don't care who you is, roaches don't discriminate. You could be rich, poor, bougie, or uh, Kim Kardashian got roaches too. Kanye West, he a big enough, but he got a rope somewhere on his patio. He needs your bald head there to come fix that shit. Become an exterminator, dog. I'm gonna tell you another business that you can start with $35 on offer up. Go to get you $35 on offer up and go buy you a lawnmower. Start a landscaping business. Cut you some grass, get you a grass, a tree cutter, trim some trees, get you a rake. That's a five dollar rate. Go to Dollar Tree, get you a rate, rake you some leaves. And you can earn six figures a year just from cutting grass, trimming trees, and raking leaves. You telling me you can't do that? Y'all don't want no money. I'm finna teach you how to get money. If you believe in what I'm saying, send me a super chat right now. Donate to the channel. Sam One, thank you so much for that super chat. God bless you for that. Hit the like button right now if you believe in what I'm saying. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all the game right now, baby. So let's say you done saved up a lot of drug money. We ain't gonna say drug money. Let's say you done gamble uh, any kind of money out the street. Take you a hundred bands, cash. You ain't even got to have no credit right now. Buy you four duplexes, get into real estate. Buy you four duplexes, dog, and rip them junks out. Make them duplexes pay for your cost of living, dawg. All that Louis Vuitton and Gucci you want, them duplexes gonna pay for that. Get into real estate, fool. It's really money out here in real estate, fool. Y'all getting all this street money, going to the strip club, going to the regular club, trying to act like y'all balling like that. Go to the goddamn real estate, man, and buy you some land because they ain't making no more land, dumbass man. Because you spending bands on stupid shit. Buy you some land and flip that land. That's a billion dollar business, dog. You can earn millions a year. Let's say you petty. Let's say you ain't got no real money like that, right? But you got a nice car that you bought when you got that PPP loan. So let's say you bought a nice car and you put it in your auntie name. Do you know that you could go on Turo right now and rent out your car? That's another billion dollar, million dollar business. You can earn six figures a year right now if you rent out your car every day. Let's say you got a Mercedes Benz 2020 that you bought with the PPP loan for 150 on that joint. You could rent that car for $700 a day. Do you know what kind of money that is if you rent out $700 times 30? You do the math, fool. That's 21,000 a month. That car done paid for itself in five months. You own the car and you and you can still rent it out and make a million dollars in five years, fool. Sha! This video, Mel Rose, honey. Thank you so much. God bless you for that. Let me tell you something. Everybody don't want to pay them high-ass fees at the airport when you go rent a car. But here you is on Turo with this fly ass GT 6'3 and you only want five, six hundred a day and your shit 
you got rims, you got beat out, you got all the music in it, man, they coming to see about you, man, and they gonna pay whatever you want on the Turo app, man, and if they have a good experience, they gonna recommend other people to you. You ain't got to be no real salesman. You ain't got to battle with nobody. I don't care how many GT 63s on there, people gonna come rock with you cause it's yours, the way you got your set up. That's a business. Let me tell you something else. Airbnb, buy you a property, right? Buy you a property that you got for sale. So let's say you rent, you buy a property, a four bedroom, two bedroom, even a one bedroom condo. Let's say you bought a condo right here. See the condo right here in downtown Miami. You bought a condo right here in Miami. You don't live in it. It's nice, it's overlooking the whole city of Miami. Get what you do. You put it on, now you trying to sell it for about 300,000, because condo is pretty cheap. You get your night condo for about two, 300,000 in Miami, because it ain't no land, you in the building. So you buy you a condo for about two, 300,000. Get what you doing till you sell it. You done listed it on Airbnb, fool. Now you want $300 a night. Get what people to pay you. People rather pay you for the big ass, condo that feel like home they go pay the goddamn risk carton 600 a night and they getting charged for uh uh goddamn ballet fees in room dining and all that when you got a stove and all that man you better buy you some property you better buy you some property that way that property you buy is accumulating profits before you even started it you even got it on the market, baby. Man, listen, man, I'm, man, I'm going in. I need everybody to hit that like button right now, baby. I need everybody to hit that like button. So let's say you good with your hands and you good with cars and you fix your own car. Why you don't become a, a mechanic? Why you don't become a mechanic, get into mechanical work? Do you know that fixing cars is a six figure business? You know how many goddamn mechanics raw people dog and they know you don't know nothing about cars so they overcharge your dumb ass do you know the number one customer and consumer for mechanical work is a woman they know you can't change no tire they know you don't know nothing about no oil chain no tune-up no brakes no rollers they know you don't know nothing about no goddamn spark plugs david murphy they know you don't know about cars and you coming to them and they got them got the shop they got the shop, so you know they know what they, they you think they know what they doing. Some of them just got a shop, a building that they renting, and they don't know what the hell they doing. But some of these people robbing people, dog. How many of y'all riding a regular ass car right now? Your car need a whole tune up, it, it don't even start. You need to start in that joint right now. You gotta tap the stool, da, 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 just to start. You got to start your car. How many of y'all hit the like button right now if you need to start in your car right now? Them same 10 people just hit the like button. If you was a mechanic right now, they go, you a business. Them same 10 people that just hit the like button that need to start in that Raglan 92 Chevy, they go, you a business. Because you fix your own car every day. All you got to do is put an ad on Craigslist. Mechanical work. You ain't got to show your picture. Nobody ain't got to know what you do. You in the mask season where you can wear a mask and be a mechanic all day. Hell, you want to be a thug nigga at night? Be a mechanic all day, be a thug nigga all night. But go out there and get your money, fool. Look how many people need a mechanic and you right here trying to be a gangster. Do you know? Jonathan Taylor, what's up with you, baby? Do you understand that that's a six-figure business? Let's say you know how, like I do my own hair now. I don't fire my goddamn barber. He done, he stopped cutting my hair. I do my own shit. I put Beijing and all that in my own shit. I don't figure out how to do my own shit. My barber started saying, he started getting big headed. I think he working with the ops. So I had studied what he did one day in the mirror. He knew I was looking at him. And I went on YouTube. And I figured out how to you do a raise on my own shit. I do my own shit, man. I fired my barber, dog. You got to learn how to be a master, a jack of all trades, a master. Become a barber, fool. Barber work. Do you know that cutting hair and trimming beards and putting dye in the motherfucker? That's a six-figure business, fool. That's a life, boy, that's a lifetime job. Especially if you fuck around and buy the barbershop and you own the barbershop that everybody cutting in and you written out chairs and you cutting the dude. 
Boy, you getting rich. Buy you a barber shop. And let's say, you understand me, you don't cut hair. Let's say, okay, cool, I don't cut hair. But they got an empty building in the hood I could put a wash house in. And they got a building next to it I could put a dry cleaners in. Do you know that you could turn a wash house and a dry cleaner to a million dollar business, dog? Off quarters and goddamn pennies? You could put million dollar worth of quarters at the bank. What you rather, $600,000 in dollars or $6 million in quarters? What you rather? You could get you a million dollar goddamn wash house, big old wash house in the hood, dog. And every week you pin picking up 10,000 quarters out your wash house profit. And all you gotta do is provide, you gotta provide the water and electric and you good, dog. They go a million dollar business. What about dry cleaning? Everybody wanna come out fresh creased up. Everybody buying all the Gucci and they, they can't afford but one shirt a year. They can come to you and get it dry clean and it's fresh like new. That don't take no time to wash clean and dry clean some clothes. That's three, four dollars a shirt. And they bring it about 10 shirts a time. Man, listen, man, you don't want no money. You playing. What about pool cleaning? You know how many people that need their pool clean? You ever thought about how many people get their pool clean a year and repair it? At least once or twice a month, your pool break down if you live in Florida, Georgia. I don't care where you stay at, Texas, New York. California, you got a pool, you got to get it clean and repaired. Stuff get caught up in them lines, dog. And here you go with your pool cleaning business. And do you know that a pool cleaning service can charge up to $5,000 for a repair? For a two to three hour job, bro. You can make $5,000 in two to three hours if you had your pool cleaning business or a pool repair business. I know somebody that got a $10 million a year pool cleaning business right now. He got 60 men working for him. He don't do nothing but answer. He's sitting at the pool all day, sending men to go do jobs. And it started with him and his son. Get the pool business crisscross. Get the pool business R. Frawler. So let's say... You don't want to clean pools. You too embarrassed, Jonathan Taylor. Let's say you in, you, you you too embarrassed, but you got a nice physique. Cause a lot of you niggas that got all these muscles and stuff like that, y'all be broke. So let's say you got a nice physique. You don't clean pools. You ain't no electricity. You ain't no mechanic. You ain't no plumber. You don't want to do Airbnb. You lazy as hell. You don't do Turo. Get what you could do with your nice ass body, broke ass nigga. Open up your personal trainer company. Teach people how to lose weight and gain muscle. That's a business. All you got to do, you ain't even got to have no money to start that business because they got public parks where you can take people out there on the park and work them out. What? First of all, all you women, black women, if you watching me right now, man, get in the gym. Because every time I go to the gym, all I see is Spanish women and white women in there working out. I never see black women in the gym working out. I see one black girl and 10 Spanish women and three white women. Y'all got to stop paying all these goddamn doctors for all them goddamn surgeries. Take your fat ass to the gym. I'm telling you right now, y'all going to Dr. Miami and all these people, accept the rule. I'm fat, hell. You come with me. I'm big. Cookie nut, I'm big. Take your fat ass to the gym and go run on the treadmill. Drew boy, what's up with you? Tell them to take their fat ass to the gym. I, I'm fat too, dog. I get my ass on the treadmill and I see number white girls spending with me. I say, damn, these women here must know how to take care of man. Number one rule of being a woman is you got to have your body right. You got to have your health right. A man looking at you for your body and your goddamn sexiness. You can't be just getting all this shit sucked out looking like the rest of these hoes. Have your body right. Look natural. Shake what your mama gave you and not what the doctor gave you, baby. Take your fat ass to the gym. Your big ass want to eat hamburgers and hot dogs all day and sit in front of the TV and watch Lifetime. Take your fat ass to the gym and run. Nobody don't want to tell you that, I'm going to tell you that. Make me the bad guy, I don't give a fuck. 
my fat ass gotta go to the gym tomorrow so your fat ass can run with me and after that we could we could we could do something that work out too how about that we could do something else and work out too baby take your fat ass to the gym get your big ass on the treadmill i see all these white women in the goddamn gym i see all these spanish women running on the treadmill but i don't see no black women and black women are the most beautiful dominant creatures on planet earth and y'all ain't in the gym take your fat ass to the gym fool take your big ass bump creature get your big booty one hamburger away from being goddamn jenny craig ass to the gym they scared to tell you that i'ma tell you that get your fat ass in the gym because all the white women in the gym and they ain't got no nigga problem go to the gym fool and all you big niggas that got money, take your fat ass to the gym. Take your fat ass to the gym too. Just cause, just cause you got money, that don't mean she like you, bro. She just fucking you cause of your money. Get your fat ass in the gym too and lose that big ass gut you got. You walk around like you 10 months pregnant, baby pulled the bed came out, fat ass nigga. Get your big ass in the gym and run that shit off, dog. Black people die from diabetes and high blood pressure. Get your fat ass in the gym, nigga. Go hit that boxing bag and go swim in the swimming pool if you don't like to run. Get your fat ass in the gym. Walk around here looking like Ruben Studdy. Get your studdin' ass out in the gym, fool. I don't give a fuck. I, somebody had to say they scared to tell women about their shit. I love black women. Ain't nothing on earth better than black women. That's why white men are cheat on their white woman for a black woman. That's why we got some spe some mixed kids out here because they were cheating on their white rich ass woman for a black woman. But y'all black ass better get in the gym because look faded 15 years. Security lasts forever. Get your fat ass in the gym, fool. Because you're going to lose stink breath ass Craig. And Craig, you're going to lose big booty bomb Quisha. Lamar Heard, thank you so much. You a little bit booty by Chris Craig. I'm gonna tell you why. Your fat head ass got all them hot dogs like me behind your neck. I got a hot dog behind mine. You see him? Go your fat ass to the gym and put some ketchup on the hot dog. Tell him ketchup. Get out my mustard, bitch. Yeah! This video, baby. That's the way I feel about your fat ass. I ain't scared to say it. Everybody else scared to tell women, but I'm going to tell you when you're going to love me. You're going to love me when you lose all that weight and you ain't fat no more. And you can come back, Nino, what you got to say now? Nah, I ain't got to say shit. But baby, congratulations. You did it, baby. Take your fat ass to the gym. I love your queen. I love them queens. That my man just said on here. I love them queen. But baby, you don't want to be a big burger queen, baby. You don't want to be a big burger queen. Take your fat ass to the gym and stop cooking all that rice. Get like me, I just started a no carb diet. I'm eating just meats and vegetables. No carb, my fat ass gotta get in the gym too. I'm sitting around here, gotta do a movie, and they told me I gotta lose 20 pounds. I was embarrassed enough. So since they told my fat ass I gotta lose weight, I'm telling all you ladies, take your fat ass to the gym. Dairy Queen. Take your Dairy Queen, cold stone head ass to the gym. Cause you're fine. But find where I over time, baby. Come and tell you what's wrong. See, a nigga with money ain't got no problem with getting a new goddamn woman. But a woman that got a big booty, she got a problem because that young girl got a big booty too. And she found it in you. And what you gonna do? Being a woman is the hardest thing in planet Earth. You got a bunch of goddamn competition, big booty bomb queen. Your booty ain't gonna be bigger than Taisha. Taisha finna jump up out of college. Taisha finna jump up out of college and her booty bigger than yours. And her stomach, she ain't got no stomach and she ain't had no surgery. What you gonna do? Take your fat ass to the gym. That's what you need to do. Work on your glutes. Work on your glutes. Get you a protein shake. Fast 16 hours a day. Eat eight hours a day. But don't eat no big meal. And you gonna be fine as Taisha. Taisha can't deal. I'm telling you right now, I got to do the same shit. Baby, I ain't judging you. I like them big. Matter of fact, big girl got them pay. Big girl pay. I love your fat ass, baby. I love B -B BBW. I love you. Big girl pay for the food. They ain't mad at paying. Baby, I like to pay. I'll take you out to eat. Okay, baby, I like you too. Feel me? But baby, I want somebody I can look at bucket naked. Not just when the light go off. I need you out to bucket naked. That's what I want.
I'm just gonna tell you right now. And your fat ass ain't it. Cause when I cut on the lights and I see your big ass and some of your stomach laying on my arm and my arm don't went to sleep. Get your ass up out my house. Both of us can't be big, baby. I can't see my mushroom tip and I can't see your coochie either. Some of us gotta got down, somebody gotta lose weight. Somebody gotta lose weight. Cause I gotta be able to see your, your food on your plate just to make sure I'm sticking it in the right hole. So I'm in there talking about, you talking about, baby, you ain't in there. What where I'm at? You are under my stomach. Get your ass out my house. Fat ass. Take your fat ass to the jail. Take your ass to the jail, boy. Get up out my bed. Right in this bitch. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Take your fat ass to the gym too. That's what the fuck you need to do. Take your fat ass to the gym. I'm telling you, Mike, goddamn not, baby. It's going down. Take your fat ass to the gym. I drink water now. You see me? I'm drinking water now. You, I'm, I'm serious about this shit. <laughs> this video, baby. I don't know what that got in me, but the heavenly father that got in me, baby. And the baby is going down. I need everybody to. This video, baby. Come to Nino Brown workout class. I'm going to teach you how to lose all that baby fat you got. But baby, you ain't got to lose about 10 pounds. I'm going to get you right, baby. I ain't against your fat ass. I like fat women. Shit, that's some shit we can work on. Everybody ain't perfect. Big girl be humble. That's what I like. I married me a big girl. I can work on you. Them girl who got their body done, y'all head too big. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm going to leave you for them rich, stupid niggas that like all them girls with them bad ass attitude. I like me a fat girl. I'm just talking shit. I think they put some in my water, baby. That's all it was. I like big girl. Big girl humble. Them fat girl, oh, they chill. They ain't on that. But them goddamn skinny girl with all the no stomach and then got their waist snatched. Man, you don't want nothing to do with that because they attitude fucked up. You can't tell them nothing, bro. I love you too, bro. Mr. Bell, I love you too. I'm going to tell you right now. Talk to a bitch who got her body done. She thinks she all that bitch dumber than a box of rock. Bitch, you stupid. Bitch dumber than her booty. Her booty brain bigger than her brain upstairs. All she got is a body. That's why all she show is her body. Because all she got is a body. Big girl got brains. Big girl do fraud. Big girl do Uber. Big girl pick your ass up, drop you off, and come back on time. Big girl pay. Big girl work at the bank behind the, 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 the tailor. She touching money every day. But these goddamn skinny girl with the big booty, you don't want nothing to do with that. You don't want nothing to do with that, dog. I tell you right now, they ass too fucked up. They hate niggas. They out here hating niggas. Y'all don't like niggas no more. They, they, they mad at niggas who got money. Every nigga that got money, they can't stand them because they got money. I like big girl. Big girl don't care nothing about no motherfucking money. They got money too. And they gonna be loyal. You ain't gotta worry about your big girl cheating on you. Better get you a big bitch. They way more fun. They way more fun. You might can't reach their coochie unless you bend them all the way over, but then the stomach gonna, I don't know. You gotta hit them from the front. You gotta find a way to hit them because you might still be hitting the leg with the, with the front because she can't open her legs all the way she big. I don't know. Just got there and get her uh, the new impossible waffle or some shit. Go get her the impossible waffle and she gonna drop that weight. That's it. Y'all go get married and be happy ever after. She ain't gonna never cheat on you. But them little girls, they just want a bag, dog. Because they spend that money investing in a body to get you to buy them a Birkin bag or get you to buy them uh, a goddamn. They want the car. They want the house. They want everything. Bills paid. Uh uh. You see this ass? That's how they gonna talk to you when they got their ass done. But get you a big girl. See, I'm gonna teach you something. When you get a girl that don't know how fine she is, she humble. But when you get a girl that look in the mirror like Jay-Z look in the mirror and say, bitch, I'm him, and she say, bitch, I'm her, can't do nothing with that. I'm telling you right now, these bitches spend 30 to 50 grand for their body. That's a business too. I'm gonna to tell you, if you a dumb bra and you ain't got no goddamn sense, go get your body done. Go spend 30 grand income tax. Save up three income tax. You can put payment plan, cash credit. 
That's an investment. Go beat you a rich nigga. Cause you dumb. You ain't got no sense. You don't know how to hustle. You don't know how to do nothing. Just go get your body done. That's what these niggas like. They like hoes. That shit scary, man. This era here scary, dawg. Ain't nothing real, dawg. Niggas is on some material shit and bitches is on some body shit. Nigga ain't got no motherfucking brains and a bitch ain't got no goddamn sense. Mr. Hyde, thank you so much. God bless you for that super chat. I need everybody to share this video. I need everybody to go to my own website, mrproblemsolver.net. Get you a mentor session one-on-one -on -one with Nino Brown. I need you to go to weedabusiness.com, buy one of these shirts. I want dollars, you want followers. Get one of these guys crown, weedabusiness.com. I need everybody that on here to send me a super chat. If you ain't sending a super chat through and you want to privately donate, go to my cash app, weedabusiness305, W-E-T-H-E. B U S I N E S S 305 send a cash out donation. Show some love to the channel. Even if you don't want to donate publicly or you, you just want to donate privately, it's all love. Hit that like button right now if you're on here. I need everybody to hit that goddamn like button. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel right now. I want you to subscribe to my channel because it's very important. I want you to also know this before I get off here is this. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. It's some rich people out here that got money, but they ain't got no integrity. It's some rich people, Leonardo Morland, what's up with you, big dog? Who sent you? Believe that. Let me tell you something. It's some rich people out here that got money, but they ain't got no integrity. It's some rich men out here that got money, but they use their money to manipulate people. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. The people that got the money, the righteous is, it, all you gotta find a way is to become a good manager and God gonna take their money from them and give it to you. Cause money is a tool that God used to build good people up. So money is coming to the people that can manage it. Wicked people can manage money very well. That's why they got money. But just like Mike Tyson, he was a good dude. He was a good fighter and all that, but he wasn't able to manage his wealth. And that's why the wicked got his wealth. And now he's just coming back for a second run because Mike Tyson, a great guy. Muhammad Ali was another great guy that had money. And they tried to take it from him. When you a great guy and you don't know how to be a good manager, the God will take it from you and suspend your potential until you learn how to get into uh, uh, reinvesting and put your money in the right place. You got to tap into that kind of foundation in you. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. I don't care how much money they got, never bow down to no man. Always keep your real, always keep your dignity, always keep your pride, always keep your integrity. Because one thing about money, money don't make you real. I don't care how much money you got, it could never make you real. I don't care what you got, what you drive, it could never make you real. I don't care what kind of designer clothes you wear, it could never make you real. I don't care where you live, it could never make you real. What make you real is your integrity, your character, your heart, the things you stand for, not falling for anything. Standing down and never laying down for nobody. Don't see these clowns, I don't care how much money or how much brown paper bags they put in front of your ass, you standing down and you you ain't bending for the cash. You ain't taking it up the ass because you ain't spending it for the cash. I done turned down plenty of commercial deals because they wanted me to do something other than what I stand for. My integrity didn't mean more than your dollar amount. When you got integrity, see, real make people uncomfortable. Real make fake people uncomfortable. When you got people around you that really ain't on what you want, it's going to make them uncomfortable. So when you got a lot of friends, you got to question if you really keeping it real. Because when you really real, see, I just told them girls they fat and all that stuff. Now, when they, they, they take that the wrong way, that's on them. But if they took it the right way, that may get your fat ass in the gym. When you real, you don't care who you offend because you mean what you say. You mean what you say, and it ain't what you say, it's how you said it. Sometimes we gotta hear it like that. Sometimes we gotta hear it like that so we can look in that cold-blooded mirror in the bathroom with the crack in it and really realize we gotta get on our shit. That's it. That's it. This ain't no punt to anybody. Some people tell me, make it your broke ass up and get on your hustle. And I got on my hustle and I ain't never look back. Sometimes you need it being told to you exactly how it is so you can really see what God got for you. Sometimes you need that real friend that ain't gonna tell you what you want to hear. What you need to hear is get your fat ass in the gym. Hut, 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 hut. Get your big ass in the gym, baby. See that? I couldn't do that two weeks ago. I done lost a little weight. See all that? Yeah, I done got my fat ass in the gym and I'm cool with being fat. I'm gonna do the Eminem eight mile and all that. I'm gonna talk about me before you talk about me because you can't laugh at me. I'm gonna laugh at my goddamn self. How about that? Dr. Dix, what's up with you, baby? I know you're somewhere in the mist. 
Jonte Scott, what's up with you? I know you're somewhere in the midst. Shout out to everybody on here. It's all love. Either way it go. We're going to keep winning. We're going to keep growing. I got a lot of videos dropping for y'all this week. A lot of content. I've been working hard. Shout out to everybody on here. Shout out to Delgo Peel by there in Atlanta, Georgia. Delgo Peel, that's my nigga. Shout out to Ray Band. Shout out to the whole camp on here, man. That's what's up. Lambo East, what's up with you, baby? Shout out to everybody on here. Tune in, man. It's all love. We're going to get this money. We're going to win. We're going to bowl out. I got more videos. I'm going live. Goddamn Thursday. I'm going to meet me live Thursday. How about that? Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. I need everybody on here to subscribe to my channel. I want everybody that's watching right now to share this to your Facebook. Share this to your Facebook right now. This this video. Click the share button and put it on your Facebook and tell everybody to look at this if you really want to get rid of it. I'm going to tell you why. I talked about some, some, some uh, entrepreneur opportunities that nobody tapping into that's black. Only people working on them, them, them um, entrepreneur uh, uh, vocational jobs is Spanish and Mexican people, not blacks. I'm trying to tap into my black people and let them know it's plenty of money out here. Y'all make sure y'all share this video to your Facebook groups, share this video on your Facebook page, on your Instagram, whatever pieces you want to use. I give you all rights to use this video on your Instagram and on your Facebook. Send this video out. You have my permission and make sure you tag me. I can see who's showing love. It's all good. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you call me tonight. I'm taking all calls. 786. Let me make sure my phone on. It's on. 786-310-3112. Call me tonight. 786-310-3112. I'm going to take all calls. Everybody hit this phone, baby. It's all love. God bless you, baby. Take your fat ass to the gym, too. We the business. Ah!